All right, guys. Well, you gotta love it. Here at Bugs in a Jar Farm on this uh, Tuesday afternoon. Whoa! Uh, this Tuesday afternoon, September 27th, 2022, I guess. You can literally, you can literally stand in the bright sun while getting rained on. <laughs> at, at the same moment, uh, we have bright blue skies while it is raining. Uh, Jesus. So I'm going to take a break cleaning up pine sticks that brother group was kind enough to I gotta get the goddamn rain off my glasses. Good fucking God, it's always something. I'm, I'm being blinded and I can't see through the raindrops on my glasses at the same time. Uh, it is a topsy-turvy world, so uh, anyway, uh, you guys have probably been waiting for this. I don't know if this is a rant or a whine. Uh, but all of you close followers of Emma Little Tell have been waiting for this one uh, ever since I pulled this letter out of the mail a year and a half ago. A year and a half ago. So, a uh, little. <laughs> this is my latest. Uh, battle with the New York Department of Motor Vehicles. Uh, as you probably recall, I moved up here from the great state of Texas, and uh, as part of that problem, I had this huge fucking knockdown drag out with the Texas Department of Motor Vehicles trying to get out of Texas. Can't even remember all the details. Uh, uh, of dealing with that shit and it was unbelievably easy to move to New York. Uh, it, it was the easiest Department of Motor Vehicles experience, driver's license, uh, registration, all of that stuff. Uh, the, the easiest process probably of any state I have ever lived in in my life. I was just absolutely thrilled that uh, how easy it was to get a driver's license and register a vehicle in the state of New York. You know, coming from Texas, very simple process, in and out, 15 minutes. And uh, in New York, you get a registration for two years, so you don't have to come back for two years. So I registered my truck in October, on October 5th of 2020, at the end of that great, the summer of 2020, registered my truck, took a few minutes, gave them the money for two years. They said, we will see you in two years, but I did have to get my truck inspected every year, which I'm going to do tomorrow. That could be a whole nother rant. So anyway, I head out of there and I, you know, I go off down to Florida and out to Texas and uh, good Lord, well, I went out, you know, went down to Florida, got that place down there in Florida, went back to Texas, was there for several months living in Texas, uh, selling my house, you, you know, driving around with my New York plates and my New York driver's license. Everything was fine. And then, uh, you, you might remember, well, I did have one hiccup in New York. It was not the, uh, the DMV. It was trying to get insurance in the state of New York uh, because of this motherfucking uh, salvage title on this truck. This truck was rear-ended. This beautiful 2013 Toyota Tacoma was rear-ended, I believe, in late 2018. Going on four years ago, it was rear-ended. And this dude, this dealer, he uh, bought the truck at a, you know, at an auction. 
and he could not believe that the insurance company had totaled out this truck, but it was totaled. And he said there was nothing wrong with the fucking truck. He replaced the tailgate in a tail light. Uh, you know, he thoroughly checked it out. He normally doesn't deal with salvage titles, but they just blew it on. There was no reason for the fucking insurance company, but it worked to my advantage. So I have the Carfax report, the uh, accident report, uh, all of this. I, I he gave me photos of the way the truck looked. You know, when he bought it at the auction, there was nothing wrong with the fucking truck. It, it got a, he put on a fucking new tailgate, and I guess, a, a, I'm sure a bumper, you know, a rear bumper and a tailgate and a tail light. <clears throat> so, anywho, so, I'm, so I come up here, deal with all of this shit, finally get it figured out uh, about uh, how to get a salvage title, uh, get insurance in New York on a salvage title. Uh, so I got that one figured out. Uh, if you are ever having this problem, Erie Insurance, E-R-I-E, -E, Erie Insurance will insure a uh, salvage title in the state of New York. So anyway, dealing with this fucking salvage title uh, with, with the insurance companies, got through that fucking drama uh, over this fucking salvage title. Uh, from Texas, but as far as the DMV was concerned, you, you know, completely flawless. Uh, so, you know, I head off into you know, Florida and Texas. I sell my house down there in Garfield, Texas, and I come back to, uh, you know, after I've been gone for like seven months. And there is this very scary sounding letter. It wasn't a certified letter or anything, just a regular first class postage letter from the New York Department of Motor Vehicles telling me that they had suspended my registration, that uh, I did not have a valid title on that they were letting me know that the title on my truck was not valid and neither was the registration, that I was driving an unregistered, untitled vehicle in the state of New York. And they wanted a couple of hundred dollars and it, and it was, uh, I mean, this very scary sounding letter uh, that they needed to make sure that this truck was not a stolen vehicle is what uh, they sent me this letter in February, you know, months after, uh, months after registering my truck, uh, you know, giving me my registration that says 1022 on it. They're telling me that that is no good uh, until I run a police check uh, through the state of Texas, uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I said, fuck this, it was, uh, it was June of 2020, dealing with all of this crap, uh, with corona panic and everything going on here. I said, fuck it, I, I, I said, how are the cops ever gonna know? I mean, it says right here that I have, that I'm registered till October of 2022, 20, and if you look real closely, it's October 4th is my last day, so I am, even by this one, I have no registration as of October 5th. But uh, there, there was no, unless a cop pulled me over and did not trust that registration, if he had called it in, I would have been burned. Uh, anytime, uh, you know, since February of 2022, I've been driving all around fucking New York half the goddamn country. Uh, I have uh, passed, uh, you know, two insurance companies. I've actually done two insurance companies have offered me insurance. I have had it, uh, I've had this truck inspected. Uh, well, tomorrow will be the third day I've had this truck inspected. 
Uh, nobody has ever had a problem. I have been pulled over by cops in New York and Vermont and I think one other. I've been pulled over by cops several times. No one has ever said anything about this. And uh, so I just shined it on thinking, uh, okay, I'm, uh, and, uh, you're going to have to pay the piper <clears throat> and get this fucking police check. Uh, you, you know, you're going to have to deal with this. And uh, so I went in yesterday to the DMV, you know, just acting all goofy and naive and that I'm here to renew my registration and she's saying oh this should take about two minutes and all of this and then of course she calls me up and goes oh you know and, and this was this was it's hard to say who the oldest white woman working here is like the whole office at the DMV was old white women so I'm thinking surely we can uh, get around this but uh so anyway, uh, all hell broke loose, and so I just thought that what they had to do, that I had to give them a couple of hundred fucking dollars, and they had to run a stolen vehicle check uh, in the state of Texas, making sure that this VIN number uh, doesn't show up which uh, I know I'm 100% sure this isn't a fucking stolen vehicle. I've never heard a fucking word from anybody uh, about this being a stolen vehicle. It was just revenue generation. So that is part of it. They are going to do that. Uh, and, and so I, I, I said, fine. So, uh, you know, my registration is runs out a week from today. So I am officially 100% illegal uh, tomorrow and she said well that's only half of it and I said what do you mean uh, that's only half of it she says well you're going to have to ha get your truck physically inspected that the DMV in fucking Syracuse is going to have to physically inspect your truck to make sure that uh, the repairs were done to New York specifications. The, the, the fucking tailgate. And, and, and I said, darling, I said, I've been driving this fucking truck around for three years. Nobody, you know, I told her the whole fucking, she had no interest, nothing she could do for me. Uh, so she gets on the phone probably to some other old white woman uh, in Albany and, and uh, you know finding out you know what's involved in this and how I can you know keep my registration from running out next week well the bottom line is there's no fucking way this is gonna be fixed by next week you know she, she said I mean so this woman and she was kind of funny, you know, I, she could not believe that I haven't been busted. Uh, that I've made it this long driving around uh, with no title and uh, no registration and whatnot. She, she's absolutely shocked that I haven't been busted already. But, you, you know, I said, well, you know, it says October of 2022 on the thing. And uh, so there's really been no reason for a cop, uh, you know, to be suspicious. And she said, well, thank your lucky stars for that one. You know, she let me know that she, right then and there, could fucking uh, impound my... V she had the fucking power to take the damn truck away uh, right now, uh, anybody... Uh, including her, she'd make one fucking phone call and they would lock this truck up uh, and and the, the goddamn Im impound fee uh, will be hundreds of dollars. I mean, serious fucking impound fee. And, uh, you know, she just let me know she's not that kind of girl. So, uh, 
you know, she goes, it's still September, but dude, uh, you know, she said, you're already skating on thin ice between, you know, for the, for the next week, and uh, then you're going to be skating on no ice for the balance of the month of October, and you are completely fucked uh, as of November 1st. And I, you know, like, what are you talking about November 1st? Well, there's no fucking way that they are going to schedule this inspection. Uh, there's no fucking way they're going to schedule uh, this inspection between now and, uh, and, and November 1st. The, uh, you know, the woman she was talking to in Albany was saying, you know, I am just now getting to the applications that uh, I re you know that uh, I received on September 8th that is it is going to be the middle of October before the people in Albany you, you know uh, a week or two after my registration my expired uh, regis my, my invalid registration expires once and for all and forever they're not even going to have opened the fucking envelope and uh, at, at any point uh, now again it says 1022 so theoretically I, I could have gotten the thing uh, registered on October 31st you see what I'm saying but with each passing day into October she uh, is, uh, is saying I'm going to be more and more at risk of getting pulled over and then she says hey, you know the real fucking kicker is that if it's after October 5th that I go to uh, that if I drive this truck well any day but especially after October 5th that I drive this truck to Syracuse to a fucking DMV office. I'm going to be, she says, you're going to be driving right to the throat of the tiger. And she goes, they're going to impound your vehicle. She says, e you know, your concern, yeah, you can pass the inspection in 30 seconds. But if you drive up there to get it inspected, they're going to impound your vehicle. Uh, you're going to be standing uh, on the side of the road in Syracuse and uh, it's going to cost you hundreds of dollars to get your fucking uh, truck out of Syracuse. That they, they, you know, they have every right to do this. Uh, she's thinking that she might be able to get me some sort of like one day or two day permit once I get my fucking uh, appointment made uh, she uh, you know that maybe she, she can probably finagle a way where I can at least you know have a little slip of paper saying that I'm legally you know what I'm saying to go get the inspection so uh, I, I, I can get my registration but uh, it, it's gonna be somewhere uh, hopefully uh, that this is going to happen sometime in the month of November. Uh, but, but other than that day, any time, and she says, whatever you fucking do, do not leave the state of New York, or, 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 or you're really fucking asking for it. So, of course, I'm supposed, I mean, not only was I supposed to be getting out of here the 1st of November, uh, you know, I'm supposed to go visit my sister in Vermont. Uh, uh, next week on, on, the, on October 10th I'm supposed to go up there to visit her the last time I visited my sister fucking cops pulled me over some small town fucking cop with some bullshit here's the Amish lumber mill so uh, I I anyway uh, so here I sit uh with, with my latest Tambone misadventure. Good fucking God. 
here at the scene of the crime and uh, anyway th this fucking bullshit it just eats your fucking brain it just eats your fucking brain do these Amish people do they, do they deal with all of this shit I guess these Amish people don't deal with the DMV do they uh, bunch of fucking bullshit so uh Guess I should have paid attention to that letter a year and a half ago, huh? All right, here's some of those. This is the Save the Planet Amish. Well, I'm glad to see they have a new load of dead hemlock trees. All right, they have a new load of dead hemlock trees. So the owner of this operation is in Ohio. I, I, like, I didn't realize Amish people went to Ohio. So, uh... We will see if I can get his sons to cut me some more dead hemlock trees. You know, look at this shit. Well, look, look at this big fucking generator looking thing. I mean, these guys have, I mean, there's a John Deere. They have tractors and forklifts and all of this shit. Off to Ohio. What, what makes these guys Amish? Anyway, I got to go kill some hemlock trees. I see this young man is walking directly away from me. <laughs> Think he's sick of me. Bye, guys.